So she um, literally chalked all over my office. <laughs> then she hates stuff on her hands. So she's gonna probably try to get me to wipe her hands off. Are you putting it back, mama? Look at you. Thank you. You're not putting it back, no? You want it back? Sarai. Sarai. Here. Mm -mm. Ah, put that back. Here. You can write something for daddy? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, thank you. You gonna write? Come on. All right. Sarai. Uh-oh. Good job, mama. You wanna switch? Come on. You wanna switch? <laughs> we are getting ready for a podcast. God Bolt is dropping a podcast, filming it next week, a week from today, actually Monday. So yeah, we're excited about how it's about to come together. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be it's gonna be incredible. Just black men talking about real things, black fathers, black husbands, talking about real life and showing how the only way we are doing it <laughs> with any sort of success because of God, it's because of, you know, principles is because of us leaning on the word of God as like our God and not just, you know, making decisions off of emotions and treating people any type of way out of emotion, but controlling our emotions and understanding that we're going to show people God by how we respond. So yeah, it's gonna be lit. I don't even know if y'all can see this because I started the video and it's flipped on the other side. So, but yeah. What up? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. The sun is out today and it feels so good. So I'm actually headed to get my nails done and a pedicure today, which I'm excited about because I get to go do something by myself, which is so nice. Usually Mark is driving or at least with me and I hardly ever like actually go anywhere by myself these days. Even when it comes to like getting like nails done and stuff, I haven't actually got my nails done in a minute, probably since like two, three months ago. And the last few times I've gotten pedicures, which I get more regularly than actually getting my nails done. Mark comes with me because he likes getting pedicures too. So I'm about to go do that. I got to run to Target. Actually, Mark's business partner with Godbolt, him and his fiance are coming over tonight. We're going to do a little at home double date where the men cook for us, which for me, that's normal. Mark is always cooking. Actually though, I have been cooking more than I used to lately. Cause you know, I've been wanting to be more domesticated <laughs> and actually finding joy in actually cooking versus before I feel like I would always just be like overwhelmed. I don't know. I don't know if cooking makes other people feel overwhelmed, but like I would just get discouraged because I would make stuff, not know what I was doing and then be pissed <laughs> when it was all said and done because like what I made was like not good. But I've been doing better lately. Like I've been making some good stuff. So. I'm about to go get my nails done and have some me time. Oh, but before I go, I don't know if by the time this vlog goes up that y'all would have seen this tutorial yet on these braids, but I've had these braids in for about a week and these were very simple braids. Like these were just some knotless braids that I did, but I added today some rubber bands to the top to basically refresh my root because it was getting fuzzy and I still needed this style to last me at least a couple more days. But that's one trick if y'all are doing your own braids at home or you just want to basically make your braids last a little bit longer especially if you have black hair and you use black rubber bands you can't even see but i have little rubber bands here that basically re-pulled those little baby hairs and stuff that were just like flyaways pulled it back so it looks a lot more fresh today than it did like you know yesterday or or earlier this morning so yeah let me go get my nails done and i'll see y'all in a little bit Hey, Tarzan, you have to tell us, what are y'all cooking? We're having glamy young and some uh, pasta. Hey, some mac and cheese. Some mac and cheese. Oh. Real fancy over here. Oh yeah, and we got four sideways even. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all so we just made it into our suite for the night we actually booked this place to shoot some content but the perks of having to shoot content in a pretty place is that you might as well stay at the pretty place for the 
time being, right? You already booked it. So this is our suite that we got at the Virgin Hotel Dallas. This hotel is super cute. It feels like young and fresh. The decor is like real like hip and trendy. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all a bit of the suite. And yeah, we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the night and chill out. We're walking in. There's a little table area, sink. It's really like a mini like apartment, honestly. Not really mini, it's a whole, it feels like an apartment. But it's got a beautiful view of Dallas, of downtown. It's got a separate bedroom area. Say hi, Sarai. Hi. And then this is the bathroom, which I mean, I'm partial to the bathroom. That's what, this is what sold me, okay? This is what sold me, all right? Look at this, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Y'all, look at this tub. Like Mark and me and Sarah could all fit in this tub. That's how big this tub is. And look at this shower. Like I thought, okay, when I first walked in here, I thought this was a toilet. It is not a toilet. It is a whole shower room. And then the toilet is in this area. But yeah, so cute. And we're actually here to shoot for Beloved, which is this brand right here. So you all will see either before or after, clearly, if this vlog goes up, you'll see the pictures from this setup that we are doing in this bathroom for these posts. But yeah, so the bump is here also too. He says hi. We are officially about to be 25 weeks tomorrow. So we're doing good. He's growing, y'all. He's so silly. Yeah. He's so silly. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> look at you, a whole vibe, girl. <laughs> you a whole vibe, girl. These birds were ready. They were ready. You see all the birds? Don't touch my food, girl. Right here. <laughs> That's a big girl. <laughs> Good job, man. Sorry, I look a little out of sorts. I just like had a whole little breakdown, okay? Because I'm really tired of being told that I can't. Like when you're pregnant, there's so many things that you can't do. And I had like been carrying a lot of anxiety over the past few weeks. It's been like really hard. I don't know if it's a combination of like the times we're living in and just aches and pains and finishing up a long day of work, stuff that I've been putting off and had to do today. So it's like, okay, finally we're gonna do this very lengthy task that I really don't wanna do, but I have to do. It was a lot of that today. And then my house is a mess and I'm trying to, you know, take it in bite sizes because I just have no time or energy to clean my house the way I want it to be cleaned right now. And that gives me anxiety because I'm just like constantly reminded of more things that I need to do. So I just had kind of a moment of just like, I'm just gonna cry because it's hard. I'm just gonna cry because I'm tired of the things I can't do. I'm tired of being pregnant and I'm just over it. Like I want to be my normal self. I don't want to be limited this way. And it's like, like, I hate that I even have that sentiment right now because like I'm creating life. It's so worth it at the end of the day. And I just know that I'm going to move on from this season and not even care <laughs> that I had days like today. And then continue to have dinner with my friend and eat some good food. Cause that's what's gonna happen after this. I'm gonna have some time where I'm just relaxing and enjoying company and at home, the one I own with my husband and my daughter and my dog. So many other things that I am grateful for. So I know that this is just a moment. Doesn't make it easy. The way my brain is set up, the way my anxiety is set up, it's difficult at times to like release control, ask for help, recognize the things that are like actually not even worth worrying about, you know? <sighs> I'm just gonna breathe, you know? I'm just gonna breathe and collect myself and move on. So I'm actually glad I started vlogging because I actually feel better now saying all that. So thank you, Holy Spirit, appreciate you. 